हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय केमिस्ट्री चैनल बी एल द शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट्स इन केमिस्ट्री नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द टॉपिक केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी रिलेटेड टू टेंथ क्लास नाउ हियर द चैप्टर इज एसिड्स बेसिन एंड सॉल्ट इन पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फाइव आई हैव एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑब्जेक्शन एंड इन्फ्लुएंस and the chapter uh, that is uh, chemical reactions and equation including also acid base and salt now see this is part 6 and the activity is one the first reactivity where the experiment is take iron nails in a test tube and r copper sulfate solution that mean you will take iron nails in a test tube and r copper sulfate solution and uh, you keep for 20 minutes without any disturbing then after 20 minutes you see what happens so what happens here the copper sulfate color you know that is blue color and iron nail color that is brown color uh then intensity of blue color that is of copper sulfate it changes to it changes to uh, very uh, the intensity mean the color is, uh, changes to green color light green color that mean intensity gradually decreases it is very less the solution becomes light green but color of copper sulfate is change blue color change and the solution changes to light green why the light green because here ferrous sulfate the compound is produced so here uh, the ferrous sulfate compound is produced so the copper sulfate is blue color and ferrous sulfate is that mean it is light green color so that is why the solution become light green and blue cup blue color of the copper sulfate gradually become less and less the color of the iron nail deep in the copper sulfate become brownish the color of iron nail because it changes to ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate that is brown color the covering of the iron nail totally becomes to uh, brown color because here ferrous sulfate that cover the nails then come to inference here the reaction due to what due to ferrous sulfate see this is the reaction and that is copper sulfate and that color is blue when the color is blue and now when treated with iron this is what is that fe fe is nothing you are iron nail iron nail when dipped in uh deep in copper sulfate solution gradually changes to light green what is the light green ferrous sulfate what is the formula of ferrous sulfate feso4 copper sulfate solution in the beaker becomes brownish why brownish because due to formation of um the copper sulfate solution becomes brownish because the formation of layer of copper on it so the layer which is due to Uh, copper and ferrous sulfate that is light green so due to formation of uh, ferrous sulfate and copper metal and these are the color ferrous sulfate and brown next come to here what happens the formula how can know this is the formula for copper sulfate cu plus 2 so4 minus 2 so 2 will come to here and this will come to here and this is the copper sulfate formula ferrous sulfate same two to cancel each other ferrous sulfate ferric sulfate what is the ferric sulfate three comes to here and two comes to here this is the uh, formula ferric sulfate copper sulfate blue color ferrous sulfate light green ferric sulfate brown color so copper sulfate and ferrous sulfate these are the uh, soluble in water activity 2 experiment what is the experiment you take copper sulfate solution which is blue color in a test tube now what happened here you take copper sulfate solution in test tube or zinc plate zinc granules or zinc plate here into the solution of copper sulfate and for keep for 20 minutes don't disturb it then what is the observation the actually zinc sulfate this uh, remember that color is nothing that is colorless where is copper sulfate color is blue so what happened when zinc is deep in the copper sulfate solution the intensity of blue color is very very less decreases the color of blue color 
the color that is blue gradually decreases and the solution lastly what happened the solution becomes colorless why actually here uh, zinc sulfate is produced and zinc sulfate color that is colorless and zinc plate what is zinc plate that is coated with brown color brown mean copper the color of the uh, copper metal is looking like brown brown is in color inference what is the inference that means zinc when reacted with the copper sulfate with copper of the copper sulfate solution then what happens here zinc is very very reactive it indicates zinc is because zinc is a metal and it is a copper sulfate solution so zinc will displace copper zinc will displace copper from copper sulfate so this is the copper zinc displace and zinc changes to uh, zinc sulfate that is a colorless solution then come to copper sulfate blue color zinc sulfate that is colorless that is why your solution turns to uh, green color solution turns to green color sorry solution turns to colorless sorry solution turns to colorless because zinc sulfate is colorless and uh, and that uh, over zinc plate and coated uh, uh, co coated that is uh, what that one copper metal color that is brown color that means zinc plate is coat, coated with the brown color due to deposition of copper layer simply layer on over the zinc are you clear when the solution become to colorless due to formation of zinc sulfate and zinc plate covered with a brownish layer that is due, due to formation of copper over the zinc plate then come to activity 3 experiment what is that take 10 ml of water in a beaker and add concentrated sulfuric acid and stir the beaker slowly remember don't add water to uh, sulfuric acid is very dangerous because immediately reaction start explosion may take place so what to do first uh, you keep water in a beaker then add drop by drop sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid and uh, uh, stir beaker slowly because here also some heat may produce that you can't uh, tolerate that is why here uh, you add concentrated sulfuric acid little by little and stir also slowly so that it will soluble in water and uh, exothermic reaction takes place what is the meaning here observation temperature increases because it is an exothermic reaction what is exothermic reaction exothermic reaction mean where the heat is produced in the reaction is called exothermic reaction so temperature increases and outer side become hot it is an exothermic reaction exothermic reaction is one where heat is produced so what is exothermic reaction where heat is produced now you are adding concentrated sulfuric acid drop by drop to the beaker which contain water and stir it slowly and so that the reaction over it becomes soluble and it gives a um, aqua solution of some sulfuric acid but remember it is an exothermic reaction where heat is produced so activity 4 experiment take uh, 10 ml of water and add sodium hydroxide um, sodium hydroxide uh, generally sodium hydroxide is a platelet form and now what happen if you add uh, if you take sodium hydroxide solution in a in a reagent bottle in lab that means the solution is prepared by the teacher or lab attendant that means here, if you take the sodium hydroxide platelet and add to water in a beaker, slowly swell beaker slowly and what you observe? Here also uh, temperature increases. Temperature increases mean it is an exothermic reaction. Temperature increases an exothermic reaction. And outside the beaker also hot. That means it is an exothermic reaction. And exothermic reaction means it is one where heat is produced. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks again to all. And uh, I hope you will subscribe my channel BL the Short and Sweet in Chemistry. Before uh, that, again, I want to say uh, this experiment here, exothermic reactions uh, involve and exothermic reaction we have done, concentrated sulfuric acid makes to dilute sulfuric acid 
and sodium hydroxide that solid form too that is when you are in water that is soluble in water in the meantime they produce heat and outside beaker that is very hot so remember when you do this type of reaction always stir slowly and slowly and don't add water to acid always add acid to water but very slowly with proper stirring and uh, i hope you will subscribe my channel bl das short and sweet in chemistry thanks again to all